in, in the near advent setting, there are also promising data uh, for those pest cancer entities. Um, and, but in the metastatic setting, there is uh, uh, there have been uh, uh, not such a signal of effect, at least not for the her for the hormone receptor positive patients. Um, there has been one trial which did not show a benefit, and we have actually conducted also a trial which had the same chemotherapy backbone as in Alice, where it's called the ICON trial, where we combined uh, this immunostimulating chemotherapy with uh, CTLA4 and PD1 blockade. And uh, we did not see any difference between the two arms in the main part of that study. Having said that, there are some indications uh, in other studies and other courts, even in our trial, that there could be an effect of immune, th immune therapy. But it's, it, I think the general, it's fair to say that in general, it seems that it, it's harder to get any effect from the checkpoint inhibitors in, in at least the hormone receptor positive patients. Um, having said that, it could be that other mechanisms of immune therapy, other actions, that methods or actions could work. It could be also a question of how to understand uh, what is important in the microenvironment uh, of the hormone receptor positive uh, uh, disease. And when it comes to HER2 positive uh, disease, uh, there are more indications that immune therapy could be effective. Um, but in that treatment landscape now, uh, it's so dominated actually by other very effective agents like HER2. Uh, so that you see that there is a lot of other agents that um, we, so that the immune therapy would need to be combined with. And I think therefore it takes a little bit more time actually to develop immune therapy in that space. Whereas in triple negative cancer, uh, the medical need is, you know, uh, more evident uh, for uh, immunotherapy.